at Midway. Right now, we want to take another look. This is a timer for how long we've been below freezing. So this is not below zero because we're going to get an update about that in just a couple seconds. But this is how long we've been below 32 degrees. And it's too long. <laughs> Since two 1 a.m. Saturday. Since 1 a.m. Saturday, Saturday. You're below 32. Right, below 32 degrees. But you had... Well, this is good news about this. We've been sub zero up until what time? Right before the noon show. Right oh, there okay. it is. So right there. Go. That's that's where we stopped right. it. Right there. Yeah. Right. One day and eight hours. Yeah. There you below go. Below freezing. Below zero. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Look either one No of matter how you stack it, it's cold. <laughs> we're going back and forth. Look at our director said we're going back and forth because to him it's the same. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same. It's the wind chill still below zero. Whatever you yeah. want to say, it's cold. It is cold, guys. Yeah. But you know what? Are we going to get out of this anytime soon? Eventually. Okay. Eventually. Eventually. We're going to climb up okay. these temperatures as we go through each and every day. We're really going to feel it, though, by next week where 40-degree weather is going to feel like shorts in paradise. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Bring it on. Bring the sandals. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look at the temperatures right now. We're sitting right at the donut right now in South Bend, right at zero. Got a few pennies out there as well. Winnemac, Plymouth, Rochester. Yes, there's still a few sub-zero temperatures out there from Cass, Laporte, Elkhart, Sturgis, LaGrange. Give it another hour, and I think everyone will be just above that sub zero mark later on today. What are we looking at uh, right now? This just got issued a winter weather advisory for Berrien County as you continue to look at snowfall north of Berrien Springs and north of New Buffalo. So if you're traveling north of New Buffalo on I-94 for the rest of today or north of 131 north of Berrien Springs, you are going to encounter low visibility and snow covered roadways. Fresh snow that is. This goes until 1 p.m. for tomorrow. Live look at the bluff up into St. Joe and it certainly does look like a winter wonderland out there. Snow continues to fall and they still have to continue to uh, clear off the bluff out there. And this taken on I-94 near Benton Harbor, thanks to MDOT to floor the plow camera outlook here. And you definitely can tell if there's fresh snow out there, traffic moving slowly and again a reduction in visibility where they do have this lake effect snow that is ongoing. And this is only impacting far northern Berrien County from Stevensville northward. That's where we're going to be looking at two to four, if not maybe three to six inches across parts of St. Joe up towards Coloma Water of Elite areas as we finish off this Monday and head right on into Tuesday. For the rest of Michiana, we're just still with the plain old cold. No snow for the rest of today, but notice later on tonight we introduced a 20% chance there of some very light snow. Quick moving system out across the central plains will try to work its way closer towards uh, parts of the area as we head on into tonight. Not going to drop hardly anything, but just a fresh little fresh powder out there. We're talking here from a trace maybe upwards of a half an inch of snow that could be expected as we roll on into the overnight hours. Here we are paused at 1 a.m. You play over future track here with some very light blues showing on up here and notice how later on tonight towards daybreak Tuesday, We'll see this temperature falling back down below zero. Wind chill values at times as we head on into Tuesday morning, likely going to hang out near that 20 below mark once again. So what are we looking at as far as feature track snowfall amounts goes over the next 24 hours? Nothing to write home about, but this will add to a few spots that will pick up a fresh coating of snow for tonight, and that's how we're going to phrase it. All of Michigan going to pick up less than an inch of snow, but certainly a fresh coating of snow certainly could be possible. And with this southwest breeze, especially Tuesday, Wednesday, that's going to pick back up again out of the south and west. We'll have to watch out for some of that very fresh powder to blow right at the road surface, aiding to a few slick spots. All right, here's the good news. First alert 10 day. We finally get past the uh, first alert weather days past Tuesday. Wednesday, we're back up into the balmy teens there, and we're watching another cold front moving on through Thursday, Friday. That'll bring with it a quick system that will bring with it some very light snow into Michiana, potentially a lake effect snowfall event for northwest Indiana, southwestern Michigan, and the traditional lake effect snow belt regions. Friday into Saturday, and then the positive news. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Look at the far right hand corner of your screen. Oh, yeah. Give Getting me that back 40. above freezing <laughs> in 40s. <laughs> the crowd goes wild. <laughs> but seriously, though, after you go from this cold, that 40 degree weather is going to feel great. Yeah. Whether that comes with rain or not. Yeah. I'll take it. We'll take it. We saw the applause. What you didn't see was the, <laughs> the steam coming out of their mouths as they were clapping and applauding. Right. And hey, I've got the 16 day out. Like I updated that this okay. morning. Haven't showed it yet. We're going to show it to you coming up in our next half hour. And We'll see if that 40 degree weather looks to hang around for the rest Ooh, of the month. Ooh, nice little tease Looking there. Looking forward Andrew. to that. Thank you, Andrew. All right, and stick around. Latest